hoş geldiniz der. Zenbetskanu, welcome to the Central Asia and Mongolia Gender Data Portal. My name is Ryan Womack. I am the data librarian at Rutgers University Libraries, based at Rutgers University in New Brunswick, New Jersey. And this is an online version of a poster presentation that will be delivered in person at the May 2023 ISIST Annual Conference. It's a co-authored presentation with Isada Arzdanbek, who's a doctoral student in sociology at Rutgers and who has conducted the research on Kazakhstan uh, that is in the portal to date. ISIST is the International Association for Social Science Information Service and Technology. Uh, that is a great organization of data people and I'm always very excited to present at ISIST on new things that are going on and this is a newly released uh, service that will be built up over the years. Right now it's kind of in an alpha state which we'll talk about um, but we have the framework and we're calling it release point two uh, to uh, note its launch into the public. So I'm going to walk you through the poster uh, to give you an overview. Then we'll come back to the site and look at a couple of features of the site. So what is this camgdp.org? CAMGDP.org is the site where this you can find this information. Uh, this is a portal that collects quantitative and qualitative resources that highlight regional data prioritizing local sources on gender issues that may otherwise be suppressed. So we'll get into a little more of that in, in a second. Uh, the countries that this covers are Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan, which are the republics of Central Asia and Mongolia as well. So why are we focused on gender data? So when we look at international sources like the UN or the World Bank, or the World Health Organization, they do focus on gender issues, but the data that they collect is limited. When we look at sources that come from countries in this region, they do not prioritize the kind of gender issues um, that we see in Western sources. In particular, when we're talking about issues like minoritized populations, other uh, sexual preferences or gender gender expressions uh, issues related to that they may be suppressed and not reported on at all and only covered outside of mainstream sources so this portal will have the official sources but it attempts to prioritize uh, those underrepresented sources and highlight them to a western audience uh, gender as a lens to look at the vast world of data is, is a, a, an important lens and it's also a lens that interacts with many other social factors. There's almost nothing in society that does not uh, interact with gender, so we're actually collecting a lot of information on education, on the economy, on health, and those things. Um, why are we looking at Central Asia and Mongolia? Uh, those countries share a post-Soviet heritage uh, either as post-Soviet republics or in the case of Mongolia as a post-Soviet client state where the economy went through a Soviet uh, period and had specific influences and they went through a similar post-Soviet transition. So both from the economic and the cultural side, similar influences and a similar older background with the nomadic empires of Turkic peoples and Mongolian peoples uh, shaping the area for centuries before that uh, means that there are a lot of common factors that are expressed in different ways across these different countries. Uh, and those also interact with gender issues in a specific way that's interesting to look at. Also, you know, there are 80 million people in this area uh, even though it's an area that is less known in the Western world, an important part of the world uh, to study. So this portal, um, 
highlights things from that perspective. And in particular, it is designed to be going forward a platform for uh, egalitarian and collaborative research, highlighting, as we said, those local organizations, um, information coming from people in the countries themselves um, in their languages, um, ma raising awareness of those sources to a wider audience, but also being a place where people can suggest sources, um, make their own contributions, and we can express that local knowledge through the portal. Um, I will move my self out of the way here so you can see our author portraits, um, Isad Iris Donbeck and myself. Uh, in, in the future, we will be looking for other local contributors for other countries. Um, and certainly one of the points of this poster presentation is to raise that awareness and seek out potential collaborators. So if you have interest, uh, please let me know. Okay, so I'm going to turn to the portal itself. Um, the homepage has quick links to our guides, our sources, and a, a link to our GitHub. So if you are a GitHub person, all of our content is on GitHub and you can submit a pull request if you have some suggestions or edits. Um, this platform is um, using Hugo as a static site generator and using the Doxy template. The Doxy template lets us do nice things in terms of tagging and organization and internationalization. Uh, it's, a, it's a platform designed for description and documentation, which we've adapted for this uh, purpose. So the About page uh, pretty much recaps what I've already talked about, so I won't go into that. Um, it does have links you know, to contact us here, um, a little bit more information. Um, the guides page we will have for each major con each country in the uh, portal, we'll have a guide that provides an overview of resources for that country. And we'll also have selected topical guides that provide a cross-country comparison of major sources to investigate different themes. This part is under active development. These are not really fleshed out yet, but uh, this section is part of the upcoming work. Um, we can also uh, view pages in Kazakh or Russian. Russian as a kind of common political and colonial language, you could say, of the region is still very common. Um, when we switch to the other language, we, we get the same content um, in that language. So this is designed to make it accessible to contributors from, again, across the world. Um, we're translating the about, uh, but we're not going to be translating the individual sources. So because there will be many, many sources eventually in this site, uh, that's not really a sustainable uh, approach to translate everything. But many of the sources are in the local languages, so we are um, going to rely on that. I'll, I'll, again, get to the sources in just a second. I want to show you the Russian versions of these things. Um, we have a Russian about, and the country level guides uh, will be in the, the country language as well. We'll be translating at that level. Okay, so let me turn to the sources themselves. I'll go back to English and I'll go to sources. So this is really, the sources tab is the primary content that is available here. Um, the Platform allows us to tag everything, right? So we're, we can tag by country. Again, the initial wave of research was on Kazakhstan, so that's that's the primary thing that we have. Uh, we can do uh, subject or keyword tags. We can tag by language uh, and recognize contributors as they uh, make contributions in the future. Each of these has some description. Um, of the site and links out to to those sites. Um, 
this link is a little, let me open it in a, a different window. That one may be a little slow to respond right now. Let me pick a, um, another one. So here's, you know, Kazakh gender statistics. And we want to provide a guide, not in a, uh, in a polemical or uh, a, a, a way that has a specific agenda, but not shying away from any kind of complete description that may um, highlight the issues involved. So this actually, this entry is one example of that, that this is a Kazakh state level uh, source, as we can see by the category government, um, but it has received criticism of its data from a feminist organization that has developed its own alternative platform. This is the kind of thing that uh, I think differentiates it from uh, just a listing of, of sites um, that the descriptive information can kind of engage with the sources and provide a critical take on uh, the, the strengths and weaknesses of each, each source. Um, so as we go forward, you know, additional sites will be added, additional countries will be represented, but they will fit into this framework that can be navigated via search or via the, the tags on the right. Um, I can. It's a little difficult for me to navigate with my here we go. Uh, you can see here that we also have language tags and tags for contributors. Um, so if you say, okay, I, I am familiar with Russian but not other languages, I can click to get the sources that are in Russian. I could click to get the sources that are in Kazakh. And so on the uh, individual language pages, when we're pointing people back to the English language sources, that's the sort of understood method that people will um, use to access resources if they are um, not conversant in, in particular languages. Uh, so that's how the site is is laid out and the, how the site will work. Uh, again, the purpose that that we see long term here is to continue to build up a rich uh, set of resources that we can describe in a complete way that will serve a specific purpose for researchers who are interested in any issues that touch on uh, gender and touch on the countries in this region and to for it to be a place for many people around the world researchers interested in these issues to contribute to and add sources make suggestions um, so that is the part I think that is most important for the future health and development of this site so I welcome any uh, con conversation, any contributions, any ideas you have about this Central Asia and Mongolia gender data portal. And so again, on behalf of my co-author, Aizada Aristanbek, and myself, I thank you for your attention. Rahmet, Utsen, Bayatla, and uh, hope to see some of you at ISIS in person in the future. Thank you.